Hi everyone, so today I am working on packing up the orders from the special release, which include the Celebrate the Fourth Bath Box. So I needed to put some more together and I thought I'd just show you that process. So we have a Stars and Stripes uh, Sugared Whipped Soap Scrub. So I'm just going to put one of those in first prior to padding because the box almost doesn't fit. So now I have just a little bit of red, white, and blue shred. Okay, so now into the box goes the Stars and Stripes soap. And the making of that soap is on my channel. Let me think here. I think I just went like this to package the others. I decided to put this soap below the scrub because it's a little bit more solid. That way if the scrub ended up bouncing around a little bit who would be able to handle that. Okay, we also have, this is the free little gift in the um, box set. It's a goat milk soap scented in grapefruit. I just thought these turned out just cute as a button. Okie dokie. And then we have the Star Bath Bombs in the Huckleberry scent that you would have seen on the channel also. Put him down here, I believe. I was shrink wrapping these and the shrink wrap was just blowing holes and my husband and I decided we are not shrink wrappers, we just don't like it. So we decided to package them up in these little bags. And then I also have black raspberry and vanilla swirly solid bubble bath. My blue color didn't quite match as I'd hoped, but it's fine. It's okie dokie. So, I don't have very many of these boxes left. I do at the time that I am filming this video. And I don't know how long it'll take me to edit and upload. It is really hot and these are made with cocoa butter. So they could get a little soft in transit. And if that's the case, just let them come back to room temperature and all will be fine. I have tested that out in a hot attic. It's up to about 140 in my attic. So it's a good test for, for shipping things. And I have tested that out for they, they can get hot and get a little soft, but that's, you know, it's the same with wax melt. Sometimes they get a little soft. You just give them time to come back to room temperature for you mess with them. That's usually ideal. keep fussing with these for just a little bit make sure everybody's tucked in real tight and I'll come back okay so I also am just gonna put a little bit of bubble wrap over the top just to help protect that jar a little bit I have two layers here of white and royal blue. Everybody's sharing some shred here. Fold this down and 
it over. And then I have some cute little heart stars and stripes stickers that I'm using. Push this for just a hair so I have a little room for the tab. And there's one box. The bath bombs should travel really well. I they're really hard and I threw them, not them, one. I threw one and then threw it away because it was on the floor. Um, a bath bomb on the floor to test it. And it chipped just a hair, but that's just kind of the nature of the star. So hopefully everybody arrives safe and sound. The shred is really tucked around the stars quite nicely. So everything should be okay. And if not, they've had a pretty rough ride. I'm going to get started on packing orders and this is a delightful order. I have this tub here and a bath box. So I looked at my different rates and it looks like a regional B is my best bet. I'm pretty sure it's all going to fit but we'll see. I do want to use some bubble wrap so that I can get pushed clear up on the edges without worrying about getting the shred in there. And as always, please recycle. You can reuse this bubble wrap to send, um, you know, your own packages, etc. Okay, guys. We're just gonna do that. Just gonna do it that way. Gonna put the blue paper this away. And the white paper this away. Okay, so here's the bath box. And I had actually been putting these heart stickers on the sides. Now this side, this side's a little stubborn. He's not really gonna stay. He's trying to, uh, he's very defiant. See, very defiant on this side. Too much pressure, of course. But I just think it looks, mm-hmm. You know, that's right. You need to. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> anyway, it'll just go. All right, so. O. M. G. You are the most stubborn sticker. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. All right, Lisa. You get an extra sticker. That's an extra extra special sticker. We're just gonna roll with it. Lisa left me a little note, so it's fine. All right. Good. Good, good, good. So, all right, so let's see how this is going to go. First of all, uh, we have six 
citrus buttermilk because this soap is pretty awesome. So we're gonna get these in here. Like so. Hmm. I'm gonna switch it. Then I can tuck a little bit of shred there if I so choose. Alright, so we have six there. And then we have two green clover and aloe, which was restocked with this small release. We have a poppies and peaches. I made such big batches of a lot of these that they're still they're still hanging on. And I do have a coupon on the site. If you buy nine bars of soap, you get the tenth for free. And so this is the deal that this customer chose. This was Love's Pure Light. I'm using this in my kitchen right now and it just smells so good. I just love it so much. Another favorite is Sweet Pea. It's almost gone. Um, a lot of my a lot of my soaps are in rotation and I try to get them remade fairly quickly but it's not always possible. This one's Tickled Pink which is a Love Spell dupe. We have Daffodil and Tangerine. That one is almost gone it looks like. We have Wild Iris. Smells so good. Smells so good. Honeysuckle. Also oh, smells amazing. I don't touch my nose to any of this stuff just so you know. I just, oh it all smells so good I just about can't deal with it sometimes. It is really fun to pack orders. Okay, so I'm going to tuck some shred down in here. And then I decide the the um, box has that free uh, grapefruit soap, which is supposed to be its little free gift sample. But, and I know Lisa's ordered before, but I don't have my notes here to see what she's done. So I think I'll do a calendula carrot, and I hope you like that. I'm gonna do a cedarwood atlas. And, I really don't have a lot of different stuff going on right now. So, let's put in a high society instead of the cedarwood analysis. I am kind of low on samples, so I hope that's okay. All right. And we mint extra shred. This is also recyclable. We'll get there in enough time. You can have a you can package up a gift of your own. Oh goodness gracious! All right, this order is getting a little wackadoodle at this point. I just ripped. I just ripped this one. Sorry, Lisa. Oh, I'll rip that one. I don't want to unpack it completely just to fix that little itty bit of paper. So we are going to finish the invoice first. All right, tuck in that invoice. I chose the regional B because this customer lives in Texas, which regionally is very close to me. And so I'm able to get all this in. Now, when I started this release, I had issues with shipping calculations. I had issues with, oh, we had ghost we had a ghost order this did not pan out very well and let's see everything's accounted for as far as we know I don't think there's any issues um this is definitely a very snug order this did not come out as I appreciate things to come out so Let's see. I can't really. I 
All right, go on with it. Um, let's see what I'm trying to say. Oh, I had issues with all sorts of stuff with this uh, release, and so I didn't post about it right away so as not to drive any additional traffic to the website. Um, we got it all organized, but I had to make some adjustments to the cost of the box set and the sh my shipping parameters. So, I am going over each order and making um, refunds as necessary. The box sets are very hard to calculate in shipping because I can't fit two of them in a large flat rate or a B or anything. So, anyway, it was a little bit of a confusing mess and I stood on it for a long time and I thought I had it figured out and then it still got completely out of whack. Okay, so I know you get confused on how do I keep track. When I go off screen and turn off the camera as I prepare for my next one, I write down what samples I sent and I also either write the name on the box so I can quickly move to the next or I just go over and ship and uh, print the label just like right now. So. I do keep it all together even though you don't necessarily see it all on screen. Okay, so this order is going to go in a 9 by 6 by 3 box from Uline. Let's see, we have a cherry blossom. Smell just amazing, I love it. Uh, daffodil and tangerine again. We've got a patchouli rain always a classic and confetti blossom which is always a classic that's almost almost gone at this point I'm going to put in a stars and stripes everybody in nice and then let's see I guess we'll do a calendula carrot and hmm like I said I don't have a lot of samples with with this release I guess we'll do a love pure light and with the invoice This was kind of a kind of a last last minute release. I mean, it wasn't, but it was. Um, I didn't have a lot of extra stuff with it, so I restocked a few soaps. Um, but my my main goal was just for this set mainly. But I did decide just to go throw some of the other ones out there that were ready. I have. The Beesiest of Knees, Garden Mint and Tea Tree coming up. Um, I'll probably make some more bath bombs and such. So I'll have another um, smaller release here in the next uh, couple of weeks. This is going to go into a mailer. And these mailers, they confuse me. They're... Sometimes they're nice and loose, and then other times, like these, they're a lot tighter. And I actually, like, I hurt my wrist right here. I, like, lost track and rolled it. Ugh. I don't like it when they're quite so tight. Well, I always get everybody tucked in. There's a lot of taping shipping okay another order complete okay so a nine by six by three box from you on these boxes help me to ship more safely in the mailer 
The mailer is actually quite a reasonable price compared to, say, if I just sent this. If I sent the same thing in this box, it could be a little bit more. Now, I'm kind of on to a new, uh, checking out a new, uh, the cubic pricing. So, I mean, messing around with that a little bit. So I just did a check and if I were to ship this box alone, it does still cost more even with the cubic prices than um, when it slides into this mailer. So that's why I tend to use it a lot. Okay, so into this package, we have a triple milk unscented soap and we also have a coffee unscented scrubby soap in the paws these are sold out now i only had a couple left i don't know why i'm doing that let's put these, this out for a second figgy cream and a lilac blossom those are if they're not gone, I would be surprised. There must only be like one left or something like that. Oh, everybody's got to go over here. And triple milk. And then let's do, hmm, hmm. This is not fitting as well as I would prefer because that is not a safe route. I may have to upgrade just just because of that. All right, let's do something different. All right, so it's gonna cost a little bit more. I'm gonna switch over to this 776. And that is the most important part. Sometimes things do end up just a bit wonky and we just have to re rethink our situation here. It's about out of room. So I need to fold these more into thirds. Make them fit better in the box. Normally, I would have upgraded to a regional A, um, but that does still cost a bit more. So, we're just going to do this nice little cube box ish. Cubish. Okay, let's do baby cream, stars and stripes, and the lilac blossom. We'll just do a hint of shred in between. Put in the triple milk and the coffee. in a fresh linen room and a linen spray it fits on the diagonal 
And let's see what we should do. We did do a stars and stripes in there. I felt like I had a crema cacao in here, which would be a good one to send. Kind of disorganized. Yep, there's a crema cacao. We'll do that. And then let's do a Let's see, let's do a, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's do a citrus buttermilk. You wanna fit in right there, dude? Put in the invoice and my business card. I had actually printed the shipping label on this one thinking I knew what I was doing and threw me a curveball there. So I had to avoid that label so I'll have to send the customer an email so they realize what happened there. This is so cute. And then, so there we have another one. that box now and I'm going to lay in my tissue paper so this order has a stars and stripes scrub and it has layers of blue and white and reddish pink um, they're going to be pastel because the whipped base is just pastel um, they're made with sunflower oil and this is blueberry and apple and cherry layers. So it's kind of a fun, it's a fun thing. So these do fit better in this box. They're a little bit taller than the box set box. I debated, I went back and forth and now I should have just gotten a hair bigger one, but it's all right. This has the stars and stripes in a citrus buttermilk. Gonna put in a calendula carrot. I don't have any scrub samples or anything at the moment. I guess we'll tuck in a figgy cream. I have a whole bunch of those. Put in my invoice. And my sticker. So cute. Light it on. I'll tape this up and I'll come back to the last order. Okay, so this is kind of what I thought would happen with these sets more. Um, I am very thankful if people ordered more than this set. I have my mind kind of <laughs> that people would just buy the set only, like this customer did. So, okay. So I planned on it just sliding into this mailer predominantly and there's already the little gift soap in there which was the plan and I will slide in my invoice and business card I know you guys really enjoy the longer videos but I need to get I need to get some order packing done I need to make some movements because we are in a time crunch these are July 4th items so I wanted to get out as many as I can just as quick as I can 
So there we have the final packet. I'm going to go and just whip through some orders and make some good progress. I do a lot of good work when I'm listening to music and it's also getting hot in here because I have my air conditioner turned quite low so it's not overly noisy. I have usually a fan going and the dehumidifier and so it's getting a little warm in here. So I'm going to make some movements, get a lot of orders packed, get a lot of orders shipped today and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!